Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well today. We are going to be getting into G-Dragon and of course BTS, specifically a Jungkook and Suga and what G-Dragon apparently said to them. And some people are taking it as bullying. I have some thoughts. This recently popped up on my feed and of course I wanted to give my thoughts on it. I also want to get into J-Hope removed from news site posts and what is going on with that. People seem generally pretty upset over this. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime new video drops. And if you're a hater, I'll well, answer the first link or hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now this has been going on for a while. And as always, I'd love to talk about the general reaction and how we, and of course myself included, can always do better and try to understand and be kind to each other. Everyone has some sort of reason behind anything that they do, unless the thing is blatant evil like murder. Usually people prefer to be nice and wouldn't go out of their way to attack someone else. So what happened? So apparently not too long ago, Suga shared a story of how G-Dragon and Suga met. This was a while ago, but we will get into more recent moments. But G-Dragon apparently saw Suga and asked about the shirt that Suga was wearing. Suga was wearing a $14 to $15 shirt that said HBA on it. I'm not familiar with this brand, if they're popular now, but at the time it was cheap and not a huge brand. This was because unlike YG or SM or whatever label, those labels could immediately right off the bat, great big bat, make their idols look really amazing by giving their idols designer clothes on their debut day. But BTS didn't have such luxury. And I think this is why we relate to them so much. Just this beautiful success story. So BTS was wearing a cheap brand and Suga had no idea or any information on this brand. Now during the show, G-Dragon actually turned around and addressed Suga and asked Suga, what does that say on his shirt? Now for some context, G-Dragon is a fashionista who likes clothes. He was well known at the time, still known now for this, but more so at the time known as a fashion king. He was on the cutting edge of new fashions and name brands. And so of course he was interested in fashion and what the brand was. Seeing a brand that he never saw before that a rookie group might be wearing could alert him. Like, oh, is this a new fashion? What brand is this? As idols or anyone in the entertainment industry, you're always scared you're gonna fall behind or seen as old or out. So my guess is was G-Dragon was just like, oh, I need to know more about this if it's new. However, I can totally see why a lot of armies became furious about it. Because there's a clear power imbalance, right? Someone with a lot of money asking a rookie group or someone who came from a no money label at the time, it can be seen as bullying a rookie group. But people tend to not have power in their mind all the time. Sometimes they feel like, well, we're all here on stage together. We're obviously equal, but it's definitely not equal. But this came to surface when Suga actually decided to share it, again more recently during an interview, and talked about how nervous he was, but how excited all the BTS members were when they later spoke about it probably, and was excited that G-Dragon noticed them. My hubby noticing hubby. Suga is worth millions now, and so obviously now there wouldn't be a power imbalance at all, and likely Suga wears clothes that are name brand now. However, can we normalize not wearing big designers? Like it's fine to wear nice clothes and buy nice clothes because the quality is good and not just a name printed on a white tee. Like for example, isn't it cooler to rep a brand that is up and coming and like you wore them first before they were cool? Like everyone should be aspiring for that. Like instead of wearing Gucci or whatever. And of course it supports small businesses. I know BTS wears non-name brands a lot and that's one of the many reasons I love them. Jungkook during an interview actually shared a moment during Inkeo where he experienced an interaction with G-Dragon as well over a similar thing. Now I can't find the official clip where Jungkook said this. It's just hearsay. If you have the clip, let me know. But apparently Jungkook Jungkook said that he was excited to see G-Dragon and that G-Dragon was one of his idols. And when G-Dragon turned around to ask Jungkook what brand his shirt is, Jungkook said he didn't know. It does seem like G-Dragon is just trying to keep on top of brands, like he just cares a lot about keeping up the title of Fashion King, which I love. Now if you do go on the tweetster, there are tons of people attacking G-Dragon saying this, that GD dude is a for doing that. What a, I'm so glad that BTS and Big Hit is now twice their company's net worth. Big you to him. That GD dude. Are there armies that don't know who GD is? That's so weird to me. Like eight years ago when I wasn't even a big K-pop fan and I still knew who GD was. I was reading this other tweet, which I can't find it anymore, but it goes like, GD, what shirt are you wearing? Armies. GD said he wants to kill Yoongi. I am literally crying. Like that is literally what happens sometimes. People are just too much sometimes. And sometimes you need to take a break from social media because even seeing these comments, even if they're not directed towards you, can still be toxic because you're just like, wow, people are really mean for no reason. But that's the internet. Armies were mad at another thing, but this was a bit more reasonable to be mad at in my opinion. 
But E! News, I believe, which is a big American celebrity news site, like they cover all celebrities, which is interesting because since you cover so many celebrities, you think you'd know that if you do this, people are going to get mad. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about what happened. E! News covers a lot of celebrities. And of course, they have written several articles about BTS. Nothing wrong with anything that was specifically said about BTS. But more so, a lot of armies have a problem with the picture being used. Apparently, J-Hope at the end always seems to get cut off. And the multiple times that E has talked about BTS, J-Hope seems to be cut off. Now, I didn't notice this until people brought it up, mostly because I don't read E! News. So if I saw it, I just scrolled by and I didn't really look at the picture. So I was seeing it for the first time in these screenshots and it kind of looked like E! News was posting photos of BTS and J-Hope was cut off, but on Twitter, you can't really see the full photo before you click it. So I thought Twitter cut J-Hope out. Once you click the photo, you'll see the boy. But no, it's a thumbnail for the article on their website, which makes a lot of sense. You can see J-Hope is cut out from that. I think when it happens the first or second time, people tend to not make it a big deal. But when one person decides to make a list of all the times it happens, then it becomes a bigger deal. Apparently this happens a lot. So then apologize to J-Hope E! News started trending on the Tweetster. Then E! News actually did release a little statement, but it wasn't a full-blown tweet. It was just a reply. So it's interesting because a lot of people wouldn't see it. But anyway, they wrote, we sincerely apologize for the hurt that was caused by the unintentional cropping of BTS and J-Hope. This will not happen again. We are as always thankful for the ARMY for holding this accountable. BTS is seven. Of course, ARMYs were demanding a separate apology and one directed towards J-Hope. It's interesting because a company that big has several departments. So tweets can't just be made willy-nilly. I believe things have to go through approval and the person writing an apology may not even be the person who made the articles and did the cropping. Basically, there should be a better review process and a stricter one when it comes to celebrity articles. You have to make sure that the Enu brand matches what is being said and what the article appears to the public. Like what if some intern works at E! News and decides to write a racist article about BTS being Asian? Like this stuff goes through approval before publishing, right? So I don't know what is happening here. <laughs> I do appreciate their apology and I hope that in the future it gets resolved. And not only do BTS members not get removed or cropped out, I hope no member from any group ends up getting cropped or removed. Because groups like Seventeen have so many members, before publishing those articles, you definitely want to make sure all the members are there. Especially in K-pop, there's a lot of solo fans or people who have biases who will literally attack you if that member gets removed or cropped out. I'm sure E! News has seen this happen at least now, if not before. I definitely wanted to see what some people's thoughts on this were. Over on LTweetStar, one person wrote, Thank you for the apology, but I wish it were in a separate tweet, not as a reply to another tweet, as apologies should be directed to J-Hope first. Also, this has been happening since 2018. I am not convinced it was unintentional. I hope it doesn't happen again. As long as it doesn't happen again. It's interesting because it's always the same members. It's always Taeyong and J-Hope. Literally, the rest of the members never get forgotten. And I don't mean these two are always forgotten by E! News. I mean in American media in general. Those two are always forgotten. I'm not exactly sure why. They definitely don't have forgettable faces. And if you're reporting on BTS, again, speaking generally to all media, I would assume you somewhat care about them. Otherwise, I don't know if you would care about the news being reported. So if you care, then make sure all the members are there. Count them. I can kind of understand when companies would maybe double a member. So Jungkook appears twice, let's say, and then they remove like, let's say J-Hope. I'm like, okay, well, at least they counted seven people. Maybe they didn't know who the members were. There's a sliver of an excuse there. I don't agree, but it's not the worst. But when you count six and then publish, it's like, okay, BTS is seven. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. I also have a video over there that you can check out that kind of talks about Asian and media and my experience. Make sure you check it out. It would mean a lot to me. It also talks a little bit about how you can contribute back to this channel. And of course, it's free to watch and it's on the front page. Also, a quick thing if you want to check out, I also have a 90-day Korean affiliate link. If you're interested in learning Korean, you can kind of click that link and it's a great course. It really teaches you how to learn Korean very quickly. So I do recommend it. It is an affiliate link. So I do get a kickback and you do help support this channel if you use it. Now with that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.